Hello crafty friends, this is the Paper Chef here. Did you ever try to cut out stamped images using your brother scan and cut and you see that you have more white on one side of your image than on the other side? Well that's what just happened to me. So I figured I would do a tutorial on how to fix this situation. Okay, so in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the scanning cutting position adjustment setting in your brother scan and cut. Okay, let's get started. We're going to start from the very beginning. We're going to go to the home. Now it's, let's just go right, I'm actually going to turn off the machine and turn it back on because I was already in that setting. I want you to not miss any steps. To do this, this position alignment with your blade, you're going to need a 12 by 12 piece of white cardstock. It can be any, any thickness of cardstock. You're just going to set your blade accordingly. Okay, so, and it doesn't have to be like really 12 by 12. It just has to be 12 inches across and you could have it like as long as it's about you know two inches, three inches high, that's okay. So what it does is it's going to put like a, a blade mark across here and little, and little crosses. You'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to say when you get to the home screen, okay, now everything's set. Okay, nothing's on my home screen. So we're going to go to this settings tool. Okay, click on that and now we're going to scroll down. I'm using the CM350, Brother Scan and Cut 2. There we go, we just passed it. We want scan, cutting, position, adjustment. Now for me, I'm using scan and cut two, CM350. It is on page four of eight. You all have this. This is my second brother scan and cut and I'm familiar with many other models because I teach classes on this machine. So you all have this scanning, cutting, position, adjustment, but it might not be on page four of eight. So please, you can follow along, do not panic. Okay, once again, we're adjusting it so the next time we cut out these little ducks, we'll have our ducks in a row, right? <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna have the exact amount of white space on one side as we have on the other. All right, so let's go ahead and put the, so again, you're not gonna miss any steps. I'm just taking the white cardstock and I'm placing it onto my mat. And I'm gonna make sure I don't cover up those registration marks. Okay, so it's attached. Never cover up, cover up your registration marks. They're need, needed for scanning. And to get that to stick on really good, I'm gonna use my my brother Br'er. I'll have a link to that. Okay, so let's roll that on there. So now we're ready. We're gonna go ahead and pull the machine back. I'm gonna go ahead and load the mat. I'm gonna say okay, and it's gonna tell me. Ooh, what happened? Sorry. I don't think I got all the way started. Okay, it's saying the carriage and mat will move to the initial position. Keep your hands away. Say okay. And you have to load your mat because if it's not mat, if your mat's not loaded, it can't move to its initial position. And we're going to go ahead and say start. And I just dropped my little ducks in the back. So let me grab the ducks so they're out of the way. By the way, just so you know, this is what the ducks are supposed to look like. You're supposed to have the same amount of, you know, white space. On both on all around your ducks so that's what we're going for I'm gonna put my little ducks while it's doing this adjustment I'm gonna go ahead and get my ducks ready because we have to test that this actually worked right so I'm putting my ducks on a stamping block all right so there's what's going on it's saying it's saying that you need to Move the red dot over the crosshairs. Okay, let me get my stylus. So it's cut little, little it's cut little crosshairs and it, we need to move the red dot. I can tell that's way out of alignment. I think that's pretty good. It's right in the center of the crosshairs and we're gonna say next. That was the left side. Oh, this one's way off. So the right side, I'm gonna move it over. Oh, that was good and maybe down. Okay, so when your little red dot is on the crosshairs, then you're, you've done good. And you say, okay, now, the, now it's adjusted. Your setting was saved. Okay, next time we start to scan, so you're done now. You, know, you can just go back home and we can use the scanner and we can actually go ahead and I can show you how to cut out you know, these little ducklings. Okay, so let's unload our mat. Let's take the white, see what it did? This was our position alignment. And let's go full circle, because you're like, sure. Paper chef, that's really gonna work. Well, no, I'm gonna show you that it's gonna work because I'm taking a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it on my mat right there. And I'm gonna just stamp onto it. So let's just stamp onto it. We're gonna take 
memento black ink because I'm going to color these little ducklings. In fact, that's what I was in the middle of when all this happened and I decided to do this video tutorial. I was in the middle of showing you how, how to um, cut out these stamps from this really cute stamp set called Fable Friends, which I will be having a tutorial on next, but I thought I have to show my crafty friends how to troubleshoot. So there's our little ducklings. So the stamp is wet. I'm going to go ahead and place this. I'm just using the stamping block here. So I don't want you to miss anything. Okay, I just stamped that. That's all I did. So here's our stamped images. And for good measure, we're going to use a little bit of painter's tape on there to hold those in place. So now we're going to scan them again. I'm going to cut them. And then we're going, then I'm going to show you that the outline distance should work this time. All right. Sometimes the Brother Scan and Cut smears your stamped images. If you were to like, you know, shove them in there really quick. So I'm just blowing on it so it's dry. All right, back to this. We're going to say home. Well, it, I'm going to say home. It doesn't want me to get, there we go, we're home. All right, we're going to go, we're going to load the mat. We're going to say scan. Oh, first I'll load my mat. And that's that button there. I'm going to say scan, direct cut. And the machine is where we're storing these images. And I'm going to go ahead and use black and white recognition mode. And we're going to scan and we're going to cut these. But I have to remember now that I'm not using really thick cardstock anymore. Like I just was for that. For my test, I was using really thick cardstock. But I I'm going to go back to a four now because I'm using whisper white. And my blade's pretty sharp now because I sharpened it. So anyway, that's, I'm going to go back to a four for blade depth using a standard cutting blade. Okay, let's say okay. And the, the ducks, they scanned in really well. And we're going to zoom in to show you that they scanned in really well. So let me zoom in once more. And over and down. See, they scanned in really well. But can we tell, D did what we, did the scan you know, position adjustment that we just did the, with the blade, did it work? Let's see if we get the even amount of white space on each side. So to do that, you know, so I have the three ducks. I'm going to just, you know, exit out of there. So we have our three ducks. I'm going to go ahead and put an outline distance of 0 0.04 around our ducks. I'll show you where these came from in my catalog in just a minute. So we have 0 0.04 outline distance. Let's zoom in. Let's get everything that we want out of there. I mean, we don't want to I mean. We're getting all these little black marks that we don't want out of the picture. And we're going to go ahead and say preview. And I think we're OK and we can cut. But there's a little extra smidgen on the screen. You just get the little smidgen off this little speck by going into this editing mode. And we're going to trash that little part. So will our ducks cut correctly? That's the question. Did we align our blade correctly? The position of our blade relative to the mat. So we're going to say start and we're going to say cut. And that's what it's doing. It's cutting. Sometimes I give it a rub to make sure nothing slips out of place or I touch it because even though I put painter's tape on it, sometimes the edges peel up. And like I told you, you should never, you should never scan and cut like images that are not all the way dry and they are smearing, but that's not the point of this. The point of this was, did we align our blade correctly? So when we say, okay, We've cut out the stamped images. I'll show you where they came from in a minute. Okay, I think it did a pretty darn good job. Let's go ahead and take, it did smear, but that's just a matter of me telling you you need to let your ducks dry. I think it did a pretty good job. So let's pull them off and put them onto a, you know, when, when you really can tell by putting them onto a black, you know, background. And then you can tell. So yeah, I mean, they got a good distance around them. So I will show you now what we started with before we troubleshooted and what we ended up with. So here, so this was prior to us fixing the problem, okay? And this was prior to. So I, the reason I decided to do tutorials, somehow my blade just got out of whack. And I've been, cut, I've been cutting like for hours and then all of a sudden it started making more white on the left than on the right. And I said, no, we have to align this. So then I decided to do a tutorial, which we just did. And there are the little ducks aligned now. So that you have the right amount of space on the left as the right. Okay, now, as I do it in any, any tutorial of mine, I always like to show you a cute little project or something I created using, using these uh, stamped images. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. 
This is um, a little Happy Spring card created with the set. And the set is called, you know, Fable Friends. And it's by Stampin' Up! And it's in our 2019 Occasions catalog, which I'll flash by. And I'm going to do a whole tutorial on it because the larger images are a little bit trickier to cut out because they're, they're not all the way enclosed. Okay, but this is our catalog. That's our stamp set. And here's a couple little projects made with that stamp set. So thank you for watching. I hope you understand this troubleshooting tip. And I hope you go ahead and give it a try if you ever have this happen when you're using your scan and cut. So thank you for watching. Until next time, this is the Paper Chef.